Design for testability static sign-off involves checking for DFT-related design bugs that limit the controllability and observability of flip-flops and logic. I will share five key metrics to improve testability and minimize designer effort. Number one, you need comprehensive rules for async resets, blocks, and data connectivity across all design stages. Two examples are rules for sequential depth and for test block reconvergence glitch. Number two, fine-brained rules will reduce noise and violation reports. There should be no overlap between rules. This example shows two mutually exclusive rules for glitches due to convergence versus reconvergence. The rules should also eliminate reporting duplicate violations for the same error root cause. For example, the precise test block glitch convergence rule shown will only report one error. Number three, multiple sets of constraints and rules must be applied to cover all targeted test modes, such as compressed, uncompressed, and at speed scan tests. A tool that analyzes all test modes in a single run will save several weeks. First, only one setup is needed for all test modes, taking hours instead of weeks. Second, multi-mode DFT can achieve a faster runtime of only two minutes per million gates per test mode. Third, consolidated hierarchical reporting in a single report enables more efficient engineering review. Number four, a tool that groups violations by root cause speeds up debug, as it is more efficient to analyze and fix one root cause versus multiple endpoints. And number five, DFT static sign-off should be deployed at all design stages, from early RTL to DFT synthesis to post place and route. Real Intent Meridian DFT static sign-off tool uniquely fits this methodology. Thank you.